Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, five uh, identical uh, squares fully inscribed uh, in a circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this uh, circle is uh, 8 uh, units. And once again, uh, all uh, these uh, squares uh, are uh, congruent. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, square. And moreover, we know that all uh, these uh, five uh, squares are identical. So therefore, we are going to calculate the area of all these uh, five uh, identical uh, squares first. And then whatever area we found out, we are going to divide uh, that area by five to get the area of this uh, purple shaded square. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. And we are going to connect uh, these points A and uh, B as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now let's focus on these uh, two shaded uh, right triangles. Let me label uh, this uh, triangle as uh, number one and this uh, triangle as uh, number two. And now we can see that both uh, these triangles, uh, one and two are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side angle uh, congruency theorem. Since uh, these are uh, 90 degree angles, these are our uh, vertical angles, and these are our uh, alternate uh, angles. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length. And now we are going to connect uh, this point uh, B with this point uh, C, as you can see over here. And now let's focus on these uh, next uh, two right uh, triangles. Let me label uh, this uh, triangle as uh, number three and this uh, triangle as uh, number four. Then we conclude that uh, these uh, two right triangles, uh, number three and four, are uh, congruent uh, triangles uh, as well, according to angle side uh, angle congruency theorem exactly the same way that we have uh, proven uh, these uh, triangles one and two. And now we are going to connect uh, this point uh, C with this uh, point uh, D, as you can see over here. And now let's focus on these uh, next uh, two right uh, triangles. Let me go ahead and label uh, this triangle uh, as uh, number five and this uh, as uh, triangle uh, number six. Then we conclude that this uh, triangle number five and this triangle uh, number six uh, are uh, congruent uh, triangles as well, according to angle uh, side angle uh, congruency theorem. And finally, let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points A and uh, D as well, as you can see over here. And now let's focus on these uh, two right uh, triangles. Let me go ahead and label uh, this triangle uh, as uh, number uh, seven and this uh, triangle uh, as uh, number eight. Then we conclude that uh, these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle seven and uh, triangle eight are uh, congruent uh, triangles as well, according to angle uh, side uh, angle uh, congruency theorem. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, square uh, A, B, C, D. So therefore, we conclude that the area of all uh, these uh, five uh, identical uh, squares going to be equal to the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D first. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this uh, point A and uh, this uh, point uh, C. As you can see over here, and now this uh, line uh, AC passes through this uh, center O of this uh, circle. 
and now we can see that this uh, a o is the radius of this uh, circle and this uh, o c is uh, radius uh, as well and we know the radius of this uh, circle is uh, 8 so therefore uh, this uh, AC is going to be the diameter of uh, this uh, circle and that is going to be 16 uh, units and furthermore we can see that this uh, AC is the diagonal uh, of this uh, square ABCD as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ADC and we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, c and since uh, we are dealing with this uh, square so this side length uh, is uh, same as uh, this uh, side length let me call this side length uh, as a lowercase a then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula we got uh, a square plus uh, b is same as uh, a as well so this become uh, a square and c in our case is uh, 16 uh, whole uh, square so let's go ahead and simplify on the left hand side we are going to have a uh, 2a square equal to 16 uh, square is uh, 256 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this 2 and 2 is uh, gone so therefore uh, a square value turns out to be 128 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square ABCD whose uh, side length is uh, lowercase a and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of our square is uh, lowercase a so therefore the square a b c d area is going to become simply a square and we know our a square value is 128 so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, a square by 128 so thus the area of this uh, square a b c d turns out to be 128 uh, square units and now let's recall the factor 5 identical uh, square area is same as uh, the area of this uh, square ABCD and we already figured out uh, the area of this uh, square ABCD as 128 so I'm going to replace this one by 128 uh, over here so therefore our total area for these uh, five identical squares is going to become 128 square units and now let me go ahead and divide both sides by five to calculate the area of just one square and here we can see five and five is gone if we divide 128 divided by five that is going to give us 25 point uh, six uh, square units so therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, purple square area is uh, going to be equal to 25.6 square units so thus the area of this uh, purple square turns out to be 25.6 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.